Uganda, a country still scarred by the memory of civil unrest, is now on the road to recovery and has set itself the target of reaching middle income status by 2020. One businesswoman who is at the helm of the country's drive for development is Amina Hersi Moga from Kada Investment, who joins me now. Well, Amina, Uganda has been fraught with turmoil. So what would you say the economic situation on the ground is today? We have now 28 years of NRM government, which has brought peace and stability. This has also attracted so many investments in the country that uh, people are doing business and everything without any problem. We, I can also add up to say that even people who had left the country a long time ago have all come back and they are spearheading to build back the country. Well, what development challenges do the country still face and how are these being addressed? Social health is a problem. There are also education, plus the infrastructure also is, 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 uh, been, is another problematic. Good thing is that it is also being worked on with the government. They have already done a lot, but they are still now going to do better. So it will be better for the investments also. Well, you're known as the woman who changed urban Uganda. Now, that's quite a statement. What would you say your key contributions to the country were? The big achievement is that I left Kenya in 1998 and started my business of distributing cement and doing transportation, which I think I've been supported a lot with the people of Uganda because they must have bought a lot of my cement and that, which has also helped me to go into other ventures when the opportunities came. Always in shopping mall and the luxurious apartments I have put in the, in, in the country. Well, how are business women viewed in Uganda? Because of the child girl not being much of educated, they are not very much into business. So this is, first of all, what is the biggest uh, challenge. The other issue is that the women, they have a challenge of getting financial credit with the African background to get securities and all that is maybe it's in the na names of their husbands, they will not allow. So those are the challenges. And have you personally experienced any issues during your career as an entrepreneur? I had challenges also getting money through the financial institutions. They thought that uh, I cannot handle a lot of money. And again, I was so ambitious that I want to do two big projects, which they felt that I should ask, I should do one and may maybe when it succeeds, I should do another one. I think uh, these are the things which I see it is a challenge for women that people do not take us serious. And through your work, how do you support women? I have a project to do sugar production. Working with Uganda Women at Entrepreneur Association Limited, we identified about 600 women who are entrepreneurs from the north. This is where there have been a lot of civil war. For them to work with me, whereby I have given them part of my land to be a st case study. Instead of being in poverty, they can also empower themselves and increase their living standards. So I am working with them in that project where I have uh, put 200 for each 1,000 acres and uh, give them now credit facility for them to have a startup. How do you see Uganda developing in the future and how will Kada Investments be involved in this? Now that one again, we can talk about the stability and the peace the country has. We are in the right path because of His Excellency's, the President's commitment to see that uh, more investments are being uh, in, uh, brought to the country. Once we have uh, citizens who are healthy, and they are educated and skilled, they will be able to move the economy and investors will have people who are able to work for them and this will move more investor investments from abroad. Other investments, I have already done a lot. I think I will be one of the people who will be championing and to show that the country is very stable and we are doing a lot. We will be the forefront but people will afterwards also see that we are serious and they will come on board. Analysts have said that there's a lot of unexploited potential in Uganda. So where would you say the investment opportunities lie? Tourism, we have oil. The production license has already been given. So there will be a lot of opportunities whereby there will be many hotels needed 
there will be many schools needed because this brings a lot of other services and uh, things which are needed. The other things, we have also minerals in the country. Well, finally, considering Uganda's past with civil unrest, how safe is the country now for investments? It is in the right track with peace and stability. The country is liberalized. You can get any foreign exchange as you want. So you can see <laughs> the country has potential and we are also very flexible. Amina, thank you. Thank you very much.